All right, good evening, everyone. System Chalk here with the 38th episode of our first YouTube run through Book of Hours. Um, we managed to get through at least one of the Tantras. Unfortunately, we came up short in terms of leveling up Mrs. Kill for an exploration of the deeper parts of the house, but we can... It's the wine cellar, basically, that we're, we're looking for, and we should be able to achieve that without too much trouble. The only drawback is, is that our Ramson lessons are going to run through the night, and uh, it'll take some time with... Uh, Strathcoin. So whether or not it turns out tomorrow, um, we'll see. Um, I think probably it might be an idea for me to try and hoard the memories for a while with Mrs. Kill and then just use it at the very end. So that's going to kind of be the opposite of what I did yesterday, but because it's a smaller window in which that might happen, I have a feeling I'm going to stockpile the elements of the soul that I need. Um, and then, of course, if I want, I can free up a few elements of the soul just by not doing all of the gardening, but I'd like to try and take advantage of the, the remaining blue crown while I can. But the first thing we need to do is wait for winter to pass. The other thing I can say, too, is that Crowcross Sands and the Moor hasn't... They've not quite been delivering the things that I really want. Um, it's not to... I don't mean to try and suggest that, like, I'm, I'm going to abandon them completely, but I don't feel like I should be too fussed um, in terms of, of committing elements of the soul to acquire these goods. It might be an idea for me to start acquiring them once I have a clearer idea about what I would be building in the foundry or, or something else. So as always, we'll see, we'll see what happens over the course of the day. All right, another sunny day. So we have a pretty clear idea about what we want to do here. Um, there is a small temptation to use the sunny day in order to um, to level up purifications and exaltations. I am less inclined to do so just because this is one of those chances for me to read another another uh, lantern text. So our goal here is going to be the Ro uh, Rose of Wozni. Now we are still going to bring in Mrs. Kill. Uh, Mrs. Kill's mood always improves when I drop by, but I think one exception I'm going to make here is I'm going to go straight to... So I don't really think I want to wait two minutes for a memory here. I think probably what I want to do is... Um, I think I'm just going to get the... Uh, I think I'm going to get the uh, lantern. As soon as I can. We'll use the watchful tantra again. Now we do have the option of trying to apply Ramson to the um, the, uh, the Tree of Wisdoms right away. I, I don't know what slot it goes in, but maybe something for me to think about. Uh, but we have enough to be able to level up purifications and exaltations. Now this actually makes for a slight complication in the sense that the Faust... Yeah, I should have planned this out a little bit better. So I need to use the Faust to be able to level up purifications and exaltations. Um, but I also need it to be able to read the text. Um, but you know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Oh, actually, no, that makes life quite a bit easier for me. So this is something I'm absolutely willing to spend... Um, spend the cost of renewing my, my Faust for. Because, of course, with Purifications and Exaltations, we'll eventually turn that into a level 3. So we'll move this one down, and we'll move this one down. Um, but yeah, so that will eventually become 4, at which point we don't need to worry about the, um, the probability. Um... Mrs. Kill stands ready to help. You always cheer me up, she says morosely. Okay. So... Probably want to get going on the gardening, so I'm curious if I'm still going to be able to go for the blue crown. Apparently I can. Pretty much the same story with the core as last time, but that's going to be because we have the Fet and the Trist uh, available to me.
that obviously changes if I have a heart text to work with, but that's a separate conversation. All right, so I'm reasonably happy with that. We'll probably try and get some books cataloged here, but I think our priority right now is going to be to read The Rose of Wozni. And actually... Yeah, I gotta think exactly how I wanna make this happen. So we use the Faust to boost... Oh, sorry. So the spring and the landlady has served me a slice of her stargazy pie with the pilkered heads poking cheekily through the hot crust. So here's what I'm thinking about this. So we've got glazier and lightsmithing right now. We can bring this up to four with the mirror scope, and then it becomes six with the um, with the Faust. So that really means that, like, we have everything that we need to level it up. So I think probably what I'm going to do is I will read the text first, and then we'll worry about any other leveling up uh, we do later. So I'm going to hold off on, uh, on getting the extra lantern for purifications and exaltations. Again, some of this is going to depend on what happens with Mrs. Kill. Uh, as I said, we are going to be running a bit late into the day, but... Um, I certainly have, so the, my idea here is that I have lots of things I can do with my elements of the soul, and a lot of this is really just going to rest on whether or not, actually, yeah, I didn't need that revelation as it turns out. Well, I'm probably going to, I'm probably just going to try and have it both ways. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. The tryst would technically be wasted if I don't do something with it, but it's not immediately clear to me that I want to use the uh, Fet for another lantern or sky. I may want to use it for a grail so that I can move up Mrs. Kill to, to something helpful. I also should have read the text, but we did just recently read that, so I don't feel as bad. Okay, better now. So let's get this text read. In fact, because Revelation gives me fewer options, let's start there. Apply the Foss, Glacery, and Lightsmithing, the Mirror Scope, then we read the Rose of Wozni. The heretical teachings of a disgraced offshoot of the Sisterhood of the Knot, that arcane contemplative order that existed in all histories. This was recorded by Wozni and dedicated to St. Respicius. So this will take a few minutes. Um, now, let's say we leave the Arab to the side. Um, I guess the question becomes, what do I want to do with my elements of the soul for the rest of the day? So one blunder that I made was that I could have actually used the Wist to boost up purifications and exaltations, but that's fine because we we still wanted to use the Faust here, uh, and this just means I need one Lantern or Sky uh, memory to be able to boost up purifications and exaltations. So we're actually in good shape um, here. Less obvious in terms of getting satisfaction or, you know, something that'll get us to the grail that we need. So maybe we would leave the FET aside for that. So there's an outside chance that we can actually get all of the books cataloged today. I don't think we're going to try and, uh, I don't think we're going to try and read anything else. But cataloging definitely has a use. Alright, let's try and figure out where on earth we're going to put this blue crown. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, cat's claw. I think we're going to start putting the um, the flowers up here. Okay, that's a start. Um, we'll see what happens at the 30 second mark here. So if I think about what I need from Mrs. Kill, so we need to boost her with Arab, we need to boost her with a memory, we need to boost her with the tool, and then we need to feed her a drink. So that's two minutes worth of activity that I need. So essentially, I need to have everything 
I need to have everything ready to go, I'd say, by the time this, uh, we, we hit this time of day. All right, I've learned enough to puzzle out books in this language, though it might be slow going. You can also use and improve this like any other skill. So this is a bird song and a preservation. Ramson, this language has been called Mantik Alter, or Lenga Akul, and the speech of birds. And Ramson, uh, sorry, and Ramson, and the hazelnut tongue. But it's a language of secrets, and its true name may never be used. The Abiform hours use it at their roost, or so the story goes. I believe we've already committed to preservation. Yeah, so essentially... Well, I mean, we could level it up. I, su I suppose the question here would be, what does Ramson get me? Uh, an extra tryst. The Falconer's Tale. There is a very old story told by Falconers about the Aviform Hours, the secret gods who take the shape of birds. Once there was only five, the dove, the crow, the laughing thrush, the twin kites, the sixth had fallen to the talons of an owl, and they sought, uh, sought another to join their company. But the crow rejected half of all those they found for the dowdiness of their plumage, and the dove rejected the others for being too gaudy. At last they found a night bird whose feathers were both perfect and white uh, and the perfect black, sorry, the perfect white and the perfect black of the crow and of the dove. But once they had accepted him, they learnt he was no bird at all, only a night flitting moth. Fortunately for the moth, their pride kept them from admi uh, admitting their mistake. But since that day, the Aviform Hours will only meet at night, when the sixth of their kind won't be unmasked. Oh man, that's wild. Uh, okay. Um, I did not know that about moth. Um, so I'm not quite going to commit that yet. Trist is not the most important thing for me right now. Right now it's basically just the extra action that it gets me. But let's talk to Mrs. Kill. Mrs. Kill has seen more of the world than she usually lets on. Conversations with her yield the occasional surprise. Now, this is the point where I really need to start, like, picking what I want to do with the day. So let's say that the Wist is spoken for, the Arab is spoken for. Um... A lot of this is, I think, going to rest on what we get from the book. Okay. I may be in danger of wasting some elements of the soul today, but I'm going to... I'm going to try. And what I might do is I might start upgrading Mrs. Kill with the spice scales first. Okay. Another minute. This would be so much easier if she just winds up getting me the the memory that I need. Well, it's a memory I need. Um, there it is, and can be no tizzer. Mrs. Kill, as every local gossip knows, came from France to marry Mr. Kill. Uh, but there's scant trace of the continent in her accent now. Okay, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. So let's, um, let's actually commit to opening this thing up. So we'll start with the spice scales. I can lend my assistant something to help increasing their abilities. You'll still be able to use the tool. Uh, I'm going to commit the shaft to gaining a satisfaction, so we'll use Ambrose's desk for that. And let's see, um, Fekri's Herbery was the uh, the anchor for, oh, you know what, how much you want to bet I don't have it. Nope, there it is, okay, so we'll read, read the Rose of Nuriel, given that we're reading the Rose of Wozni as well. Okay, so we are now making it a priority to uh, open up the infested wine cellar. I am still going to hold off on using the fet and the metal based on what we get out of this text here. But if we don't wind up having something that we can upgrade a skill with, these will be used to catalog books, so in the end we only have to worry about one at the end of the day. And these can be used at desks, so I, I could use both, however I do normally like to um, catalog books one at a time in case they wind up being cursed. Although with the recent change in the patch, um, I may change that priority because it's actually not advantageous to catalog books with a 
with an element of the soul anymore. Oh, sorry, with a, a afflicted element of the soul. You can potentially transmit the curse. All right, my pride will find an echo in theirs, boost Grail and Edge. So as always, we're holding off at the very end for whatever, um, uh, whatever um, consumable we're going to give them to level up. Okay, here we go. The Rose of Waznai, the heretical teachings of a disgraced offshoot of the Sisterhood of the Knot, that arcane contemplative order that existed in all histories. This was recorded by Waznai and dedicated to St. Respicius. The offshoot favored by Waznai, the true sisterhood, followed St. Respicius in pursuing ascension in the name of the door and the eye, the merciless hour of light. St. Respicius failed, perhaps, because the larger sisterhood tracked him down and ritually strangled him. Waznai outlined steps for those who hoped to succeed. Seek in dreams, seek the mansus. The third mark can be achieved only when one has passed the stag door. One must pass the wood, one must rise uh, to the white door. The stag door awaits the light bearer in the light of Gerb in, sorry, in the sight of Gerby. Okay, rural contemplations, we get one of those for free, and then this also gives us revelations, so interesting. I certainly have my work cut out for me in terms of leveling all this stuff up, but I think I can actually pull it off. So let's let's organize this properly. So first of all, we take care of the text. We're getting more revelation books, which I'm reasonably happy about. Let's go for a rural contemplations right away. Let's just get that done. So use this lesson to acquire a new skill. Um, so for leveling up a rural contemplations, I'm going to need one memory here. For purifications and exaltations, I'm going to need one memory here. This would be a good argument for me to renew the era. No, I don't need to renew the era because I have an edge from metal. So this is now spoken for, which means the FET is going to be the book that... Please tell me I'm already doing the... Yes, I am reading the... Um, satisfaction text. So, uh, we use the FET to catalog a book and call it a day. Catalog a solar period book. This book was probably written around the time of Hush House's solar gothic period, roughly between the 10 hundreds and the 15 hundreds. If I examine it, I can learn more about what knowledge it might contain. I may want to try and make a witching to sane with desires and dissolutions at some point, but I don't need to worry about that now. All right, the Rose of Nuriel, a volume of collected teachings of the Sisterhood of the Knot, that arcane contemplative order that existed in all histories, but in some was very powerful indeed. This was recorded by Nuriel and dedicated to St. Tryphon. St. Tryphon, Nuriel explains, performs secret miracles in the name of she who bleeds and bears and she who opens. Thus St. Tryphon opened the way to the House of the Sun, thus St. Tryphon underwent the great birth and ascension to immortality. St. Tryphon began his ascension by passing the horn door. St. Tryphon continued his ascension by learning the invocation theatic, which Nuriel does not here record on account of its extreme holiness. And, Nuriel explains grimly, to achieve the seven marks of the great birth, St. Tryphon consumed those whose soul had left them, and even those in whom the soul remained. All right, so we will boost Mrs. Kill with the satisfaction. So just a reminder, the reason we're doing uh, doing these off the top is we need to get to 10 with the cellar. I was originally going to give the wine, but in this case, the witching to sane is something that I can renew. So generally, when I can, I like to prioritize the renewables over the non-renewables. I, I would find it very difficult to imagine a situation in which we run out of the, I think it's Domain Revelin. Yeah, I can't imagine a situation where we actually run out of this, but no need to give up something scarce uh, so early. So another leaf on the Tree of Wisdoms. So this will eventually become level two, so we will adjust our orderings accordingly. In fact, the big problem right now is just going to be getting everything in on time. So 
Let's go for the higher level one because that's more difficult. I'm no expert, but I'm no dabbler either. And I didn't actually read the text for a lot of these things, so I will read... Actually, I can do that right now. So, light, uh, glacier and lightsmithing, break a window, what have you made? A way, a new light, a weapon, Natalia Brulot. And auroral contemplations, to know what will pass and what has passed. The practitioners of this discipline see endings and beginnings, passages and transitions in some... Uh, sorry, in the same mode as dawn and sunset. Okay, so we're saving the metal to be able to level up Auroral Contemplations. So we got a catalog as well. So the Book of True Blood, Cassius the Tommen reveals the deeds of the Unnumbered Legion, the secret army that protected Rome against the Shadowless Empire. A 14 edge text, certainly not something I'm going to be reading anytime soon. But I should be reevaluating what texts are available to me in a little bit because uh, we should be opening up quite a few lantern texts given what we've leveled up. And I don't think a level two auroral contemplations is going to give us anything that Disciplines of the Hammer could. But yeah, at the very least, um, we may have access to a little bit more lantern than I originally thought. Okay, let's wrap up the the day's tasks as far as uh, Grail is concerned. Mend a broken heart to color a pale so I can offer my assistant something to drink. This will increase their aspects. They'll also be glad of the refreshment. We've got another one we can put in the librarian's quarters. It's first in, first out. Or, Skill is now level three. Its power aspects have also increased. So let's use little contemplations, the lesson, the memory, the effort. There's always more to learn. All right, so that's a pretty good day for us here. Uh, and we do still have time left for some reflection. So two more books to catalog when uh, when we come when it comes down to it. Let's take a look at what's available to us with Lantern. Oop, down to the Grushins. This has boosted their aspects appropriately. They're already at 10 Grail, so let's see if we can get a memory that we can take with us through the night. Uh, but yeah, so there's a couple things that I want to do. Number one, if there is something in Ramsund that I haven't been able to read, I want to, I want to keep an eye for that. In fact, let's do a bit of rearrangement here. So I'll put the uh, Tantra in one place. Um, this is, oh, this is definitely a book I can read, actually. Uh, book of True Blood is difficult, but not impossible. Uh, I think that's the same story with the Focus of Amber. So if you've seen, is just completely out of the running. Okay, On the Winding Stair is now... Actually, this gives me a chance to start shifting... So I'm determined to, you know, to push these things back to to a proper um, language ordering. Let's put the winding stair. I don't see how Ramsund would be a knock text, but let's. Um, whoa. Let's put the winding stair down below here. Um, yeah, so these are all difficult as opposed to unreadable. That's what I really wanted to know. Light in the inkwell is now achievable for us, so that should be going into this room. I will just keep that in mind. Oops. Okay, um, I think we have some pretty, I think there are some pretty clear things that I can do for the next next couple of days. So yeah, the tripled heart is trivial um, in this case. 
Wait, the skill is now level 2, its power aspects have also increased. I guess the one thing I should be working on here is uh, the Chandler's Wish. So with Glacier and Lightsmithing, we're at 4. 6 with the Faust, 8 with the... Um, oh, that's interesting, so we can sleep with that. Yeah, I, I find it a little, a little ambitious to try and keep it 12. But we do at least have the Light and the Inkwell. Um... But at minimum, I would expect we have the Grail text. Uh, and I'm not too hopeful for the knock. So we've got two from the Shaft, three from Door and Walls. That brings me up to five. Even if I had a pattern, we're still one short. Although there is the chance we get lucky with a memory. Okay, the infested wine cellar. Something much bigger layered here. The walls and ceiling are smeared with its slimes. It's gone now, but its children remain, wriggling in every shadow. We'll have to clear, lure, or drive them out. And as mentioned, I think I said in the previous episode, I was planning at some point on crafting an ink to be able to open the rattling bridge, but again, I, you know, I haven't exactly been killing it in terms of cataloging books. And I certainly have more to read than, uh, than I did before. So the urgency isn't quite there. Um, there's certainly lots of things that I can get my people working on uh, in between. Might be worth thinking about whether or not there are any scale challenges I want to overcome because we do have access to the miners um, during the season. But honestly, I don't see myself leveling up uh, nine, 9 scale for that. All right, Aura Flams, established 1776, Sense, Signs, Sciences. Dear Librarian, we would like to offer you this opportunity to purchase Keonid Abydos. Um, six winter wouldn't be bad. It's a bit expensive for us given uh, that we only have four for Spintria, but I think, um, I think in this case it will be worth it. And I already know that uh, Keonid Abydos gives us a regret. So let's see what the weather brings before we commit to anything to... Okay. That's helpful in its own way. Uh, I mean, so clouds aren't useless. Um, one of the drawbacks about clouds is that it only gives you one of the aspects. So if you are relying on it for a memory to be able to read a text, chances are you're not going to use it there. But it doesn't care, uh, let's say a level up doesn't really care that much about intensity. So we'll see where we go with it. I'm not, um, I'm not going to commit one way or the other, but we are going to read the tripled part. So I do have a little bit of a challenge uh, to overcome here. So I could use this Arab. Like I'm, I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to be able to read the triple heart no matter what. The question would be, do I use my higher level Arab towards it right now? Um, and it's a hard question just because I don't really see what else I would use it for at the moment. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I tell you what, I think we'll use the lower level one. It's always nice to keep something in reserve. So we'll take the tripled heart, sacred poems composed. Oh no, actually, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm actually going to protect the Arab because th this may wind up uh, cataloging a text. So I'd rather not uh, lose the more powerful element of the soul. Uh, so in this case here, we just need to add the scales and we don't even need to use up desires and dissolutions. In fact, maybe I'll just use the Arab to make another Tisane. But we'll worry about that later. Uh, so a half familiar language. What is this? Oh, uh, Kernvek. Kernvek Hanavek, the oldest form of the language now called Cornish or something even older. So the Tripled Heart, sacred poems composed in honor of the hours venerated by the Sisterhood of the Triple Knot. Okay, um, we also said that we had a lantern text that we could read, although I believe in that case we needed... Yeah, so we have four, six. We do need the memory. Uh, and I think in this case we don't need to get too clever. I am, however, going to continue to garden. Okay, so apparently we still have blue crown. That's a little surprising, but I'll take it. I'm not entirely sure I need all of this stuff, but I can think of more situations where I've wanted it and haven't had it. Um, and honestly, storage space isn't that... Like, it's getting a bit messy in here, but it's not... Uh, it's not the sort of thing I need to be kicking up a fuss about yet. 
I'd at least prefer the play, the space to be filled up with flowers, which I have a more direct use for in terms of creating pigments than say, um, you know, materials when I'm not using the foundry. Okay, so uh, I'm going to want to read a lantern text. So let's use our FET for that, because I may still have use for the Arab. And for that we will, well, we'll just grab whatever we can off the shelf here. Um, We'll read the Rose of Wozni again. Okay, um, so that Faust is spoken for. Um, so I've got a Metal, a Shaft, a Trist, and a Whist to work with. Now, if I wanted to get kind of clever with Cardera's Delight... Okay, first of all, Cardera's Delight? Okay, yeah, beside. Actually, we'll put that beside on the Winding Stair. So I think I think it's pretty clear what's going on here. So yeah, so if I try to read uh, Cardea's Delights, we've got two for the Shat, we've got three from Doran Walls, so that's five, and we've got seven from the Memory. So I would want to generate two memories, so let's say we would use the Trist and the Wist for that. So Trist, Wist, and Shapt which would leave me metal and Arab for the cataloging, but then I wouldn't be able to make my Tisane. So let's not commit to that quite yet. Let's wait. Let's uh, catalog some books, and then I will make the Tisane today just to save myself the effort later. Now, technically, I don't need to use Arab for that, but again, Arab doesn't really get me anything on its own, so... Hush house still rings with thwarted desires. I'll mix that into a Tisane. This isn't essential, but it's... Um, it's, it's just something that I can do. Uh, so let's use the Trist in this case. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to start committing excuse me, elements of the soul that give me the lowest return in terms of um, money. Not the most important measure that I could be using right now, but um, it's always nice to know that I can get a higher return if I mess up uh, in this step. So This book was probably written around the time of Hush House's Solar Gothic period, roughly between the 1000s and 1500s. If I examine it, I can learn more about what knowledge it might contain. And maybe with the leftover elements of the soul, perhaps one thing I would want to try and do is um, make that ink. I will consider it. Okay. The wine cellar. Ricardo Milagro, traveler, rascal, Musgrave's gardener, managed a creditable wine from Brancrug's grapes. Cornwall has never really been wine country, and the tradition was unevenly maintained, but the curia of the isle kept a good cellar. So we've got reserves of Domaine Reveline, Schloss Jannings, three bottles of dandelion wine, three bottles of Landing uh, Brusselande, Ross Crag and whiskey. Uh, lost packages, so that's going to be something I want to follow up with at some point, and a widow's candle. In terms of new areas that we can access, we've got the collapse cellar, which will qu require heart, nectar, or scale. These are rather difficult to achieve. And then the rustling stair, which would require moon or scale. So this is the point where I'm going to want to think about hiring specialist. All right. I've carried the memory like a flambeau safe through the mazes of night. So we may not use this, but you never know. Now I have an idea of this book's nature and its contents. The Secret Colors. Black Ellie, disgraced Damascene matriarch of the Sisterhood of the Triple Knot, wrote this while fleeing the agents of the duty. All right, uh, I guess it's time for us to catalog another book. So I could use the Wist, the Shapt, or the Metal. I don't really know what I'm going to be getting out of the Lantern text that I'm reading right now. So I can wait. I don't like waiting. So I'm going to use the Wist to catalog the last Solar Period book. This book was probably written around the time of Hush House's Solar Gothic period, roughly between the 1000s and the 1500s. If I examine it, I can learn more about what knowledge it might contain. 
And I think I'm going to have to end it there. Um, we're already about five minutes over and there's nothing that's really finishing. Well, the Tassane's finishing soon. But yeah, I think I'll call it uh, at this point. Um, I don't think there's too much to worry about here. Um, the sky techs would be kind of nice to get a handle on and i have a lot of very high level things to work with so i think one small worry i have is that i'm a little unbalanced in terms of like texts that i can read um like so there's there's quite a few texts that i can read at this point but they're all fairly high leveled ones so even though we've read through kind of my stores right now uh, i don't have the skill to really bring it home so that would be, that's an argument for basically two, uh, two things. So one would be the acquisition of new books, which in this case would be uh, Oriflam's Auction House. This is one of the reasons why I picked up Keon at Abydos. But then the other argument there is to go into other rooms. And in particular, I know that this room will have books. You can actually just see it through the, the image here. So uh, acquiring new books will be the priority first, but I do probably want to have a serious think about how I'm going to navigate the next, uh, kind of the next batch of, um, of improvements. Anyway, something, again, something for me to think about later. As always, thank you very much for watching. Uh, we should be back tomorrow for Thursday's episode, and take care until then.